What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Ultra Frost here, and today what you see on the screen is Pokemon Coliseum, and I just want to do a really quick test because uh, I realized that in the Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke video that I just did and uploaded, the background noise was actually pretty bad, and for some odd reason the audio from the game itself didn't really show well, so I have to start doing adjust a little bit of adjusting. So this is really more of a test, so that way when the actual... Uh, randomizer gameplay for Pokemon Coliseum starts. It's actually perfect from start to finish with the audio, so that way there's no uh, the background noise is at uh, hopefully at a bare minimum. I don't want it to be uh, that as bad as it was in today's episode of Pokemon Sapphire because it was pretty bad. Even though my voice came out clearly and I was able to be heard, the game audio wasn't able to be heard because of the stupid background uh, background noise because uh, I had a fan on and I thought that it would work because it worked with the older mic. But it seems that with this one, it's more sensitive, so I still have to get used to it. And uh, it's summer, and since it was like summertime, it it is a little bit hot here, so that uh, so the fan would uh, air con well the air conditioning fan actually uh, would work, so my room stays cool. So anyway, I just wanted to show, also show you that it is randomized, and you will notice that they're all, they're all caught in Master Balls because of the fact that I wanted to just rush into it and rush through the game as fast as possible to get to a certain point to test out the glitches anything because the, the first time I did it uh, I ran into a few glitches where the names weren't the actual names of the Pokemon it was still the names of the, sh of the original Shadow Pokemon but with the randomized Pokemon but I wanted to be actually fully randomized and the types weren't randomized at first but now they are so here it is here's uh, a Salamence with, who's water psychic and has overgrow it's completely randomized and it's a Shadow Mon level 33 you don't even catch elements I think till the end of the game actually so it's very early on in have Salamence I also have a Pikachu that's water fighting, and you notice that its moves are Rap Twister and Mind Reader, and it's about to get unlocked, which will do late, which I'll be not be doing in here. Just just more of a test, just to talk it out. And you see uh, the Delcaddy that's Ice and Steel with Magma Armor prevents freezing, and then you have the Feraligatr, which is one of my starters, which was Water Fire has Run Away makes kicking easier. You know you're not running away from anything; it's all trainer battles. But you know Night Slash Slash. Uh, nice nightshade, not nice, nice, nice nightshade slash synthesis and defense curl. And I also have the Altaria, which is Rock Dragon, prevents attack reduction. It's actually a really good ability. And it also has Shadow Rush and Side Beam. Just look at that. And I also have a Knocked Out, which is Fighting. And with that, it literally has Metal Claw, Meteor Mash, Hyper Voice, and Sketch. And it's just to, those are my two starters uh, with Fraligator and Knocked Out, but the Knocked Out starter is Hoot Hoot that evolved into a low tad, so evolutions are randomized in here as well, but then it evolved into a Knocked Out, so I did a luck out and still got the Knocked Out in the end, but this is more of just a test, um, even uh, the actual Pokemon are randomized too, so it's not like it's only uh, the, uh, like just a shadow Pokemon that are randomized. It's all Pokemon that are randomized. So I'm just gonna do one quick battle to show you that it's randomized. That that even they're randomized. Uh, this is not gonna be like the actual gameplay. This is just this is just more of a test. I'm trying to test the audio and trying to get it trying to get it all through and just so that way, you know, like I said before, when the actual game when the actual walkthrough uh, starts, the audio is fixed and everything is fixed but see how it's an Ivysaur and Wolverine right there off the bat and I don't know if this person has a shadow mon but it actually I think the Ivysaur is a shadow but he's just look at that Shalomans and a Pikachu right there on my party and it's, it's no, no mon but see it literally is all randomized just to show you real quick I'm gonna go a little bit further uh, play a little bit. I'm probably gonna lose my mods here, but I'm not doing a Les lock. It's just a, it's just for fun. Uh, I'm still deciding on if the actual walkthrough is gonna be uh, a Nuzlocke as well, or if it's just gonna be more for fun. But oh, and that thing has color change. So that's actually a good ability. So, but it, it's just more of a really just a test, and maybe. If I feel, if I think I'm up to it, because I know the fact, because the little fact that this game is definitely not easy for me <laughs> when it comes to. Oh, I just used Twitch already on my accent. That's why I was I spin the button, and the Wolverine's gonna live. But regardless of which, uh, it's. I'm also playing with the controller, so you hear the, probably hear the buttons uh, mashing and everything like that. But 
it, it was just a way to test out this game and you know get it working uh it's probably not going to be perfect on the first test i'm going to be doing more tests uh a little bit during the week because the the walkthrough is going to start next week it's not going to start this week because i want this week to be more for the the wow flamethrower warring but oh sorry <laughs> sidetracked but it's just because i want to be able to get more episodes done of um of the sapphire nuzlocke done and i want to get uh more episodes done of the uh pokemon uh, soul link done uh, a little bit more before i even move on to a third one but the channel is going to have three different uh three different wall, uh, playthroughs it's not gonna just have one uh, or two, uh, two it's not gonna just have two it's gonna have a total of three uh, one of them is gonna be that sapphire nuzlocke which I hopefully I beat and then it's gonna be the soul link with my friend because that one will be more easier to do videos with uh, because it's just me and my friend and, and everything and then after that it's going to be uh, me and it's just gonna be myself just doing uh, videos of the Pokemon Coliseum. So that's good. It's just what's gonna, the plan is going to be for the channel for now. I thought that it would just be really cool to do a Pokemon Coliseum uh, randomizer. I love the Pokemon Coliseum game, and I also love the uh, Pokemon. I also love the Pokemon XD, but I don't. I don't know if there's a way to randomize that. I've been trying to look to see if there's tools and or anything like that, but unfortunately, it didn't work. So. I don't know. I don't know why, but it it's uh, hopefully there's a way to make that work because I play. I only played through half of Pokemon XD. I didn't even finish that that game completely. I finished the this game completely, the original game on the GameCube, but I never finished the actual. See, like I have like great. It was just a way to just test test it out and just not even. It, it, this is more. This is just my personal for fun. Uh, type thing. I also had another one that I did try to nuzlocke, and that one I completely failed. <laughs> so it, uh, it wasn't good. Uh, I had a Wonder Guard, um, a Wonder Guard uh, Licky Tongue. So unfortunately, that didn't go well. And that's more the reason why, like, I don't think I could really nuzlocke this because of the fact that if I don't have a damaging move that, like, like toxic or or poison powder. I would have no way of even getting through the, you know, I would just have no way of getting of getting through it. I would literally be done in the first like two battles because that Licky Tongue showed. See, they see this one had the poison battle, but that it was just the problem was that specific uh, playthrough that I did. This is a different playthrough. I had two total two. This one was just to, literally just to screw around and just. Screw it. Rare candies and freaking max money and fuck it, just going by. So, new plane split. But, so, unfortunately, you know, I can't really, uh, you know, uh, be able to really do the Nuzlocke if I encounter that Wonder Guard extremely early on because I encountered that on like the third battle of the game. And that was where you encounter like the sh the shadow the shadow mon, uh, your first shadow encounter, which I couldn't get to because I had, uh, well I did get to it and I caught it, but that wonder guard, I just wouldn't wasn't able to beat it. So that was like the big problem that I had there, and that's why I decided to not do the to not do the nuzlocke because I knew I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, I mean, I'll still maybe give it a try uh, later on in in time. Uh, maybe as like the second time, I would probably play it. I'll randomize. I'll, I'll probably do the Nuzlocke with XD when I find out how to nuz uh, how to randomize it. Um, but for Coliseum itself, I think for now, I think it's just I'm already doing two Nuzlocks, and I also I just want a game where I can just do commentary, just bullshit around, and not even bother to. Uh, worry about losing any mons, this and that. You know, I I just want to be able to just have fun, uh, and just if I lose a mon, I know I'm not gonna have any consequence of I lose a game. I'm done with that game. Well, that's it. 
that's all folks you know i don't want to i don't want to do it like that you know i want to be able to pass like a few episodes so in this test i'm still i'm still going i'm just gonna go i'm going all the way to the final part where i i think this might be the shadow which is pseudo world is pretty good but i don't think nah, actually it's not shadow um I'm just doing this more just to get to that shadow part and show you that you know and everything. But they are randomized, so that is the good part. You know, I might take out this Nakata, but it's just to show, just to show the randomizer off and show you how it work, how it works and everything's randomized. The video itself is also going to have a layout, so it's not going to just be just a plain video. It will have that little nice layout, your little fancy. And, and everything like that it's you know it's just so that way I it, it will look better I still have some of the um, so I will still have some of the Pokemon there you know like the the slots for the Pokemon and whatnot and you know just just to still be fancy and cool and whatnot I think it's still cool to have the layout anyway even though you're not doing your nose lock it still would just look cool instead of just here's the video and everything I kind of like to put the work into the editing and stuff like that, but the layout is probably going to be the layout is probably going to be made by someone else. It's not. Pro it's probably not going to be made by me uh, because my layout skills aren't the best, and this person has a Celebi. But it's just so that way. Whoa! It's just anyway, but it's just so that way. You know, I can just I can just have fun. You know, and that's really it. You know, I'm not looking to really whatnot I just I like lay I like the way layouts look and there's this one guy who really knows how to make a good layouts he's a, a definitely a professional I'm nowhere near professional so my layouts are still lacking very very badly I was lucky enough to get that layout to look as good as it did with the diamond and pearl with my skills so that's the only reason why I'm, I'm outsourcing for this part because I want this one to be more way special because the fact that it's literally a Pokemon costume randomizer this is like it's you know that's pretty awesome you know to randomize a a GameCube game instead of it being still the the base you know the the base form and, and everything like that so that's the only reason why I would rather do that with the layout make it special have fun with the randomizer not even not even knows like I'm well I'm still kind of thinking about it. If I do decide to nuzlock it, just be prepared for me to probably not beat it. <laughs> just so you know, just be prepared for me to probably not be able to beat it because it, I know that nuzlocking this is definitely not going to be easy. And I've seen other PokeTubers uh, do it just for fun as well, so that's why I think it's just best to just do it for fun. You kind of need those videos where you just want to sit back, you want to just make a video, just have fun, and not worry about. Losing a monster explosion, and oh, there you go. And the fact that there's a double battles, you lose. If someone has explosion, you literally could lose both mons right there. You know, because it's double battle, and double battles are tougher. And I struggle with double battles constantly. You know, I'm not really that good with double battles, so you'll see me screwing up a lot, <laughs> especially, and which is why it would be, it would still be fun. But see how I you know, look at the items that I have. You know, it's just this is just like a mock thing. You know very <laughs> you know this is not meant to be taken seriously as you can see you know so don't worry about this this is not the actual playthrough we'll be fine but now we're at the full the final battle that we see here and I don't know if maybe the script will still randomize their mons for like the, the script battle but we'll find out right now and see what happens and see what and if it doesn't and if it is randomized we will actually see what his shadow mon is for this one and then it probably won't be the same so unfortunately that'll probably be the problem but we'll see right now and we'll watch the battle it's a butterfree it's a shell so it's going to be a shadow butterfree he has an amethyst this is not going to go well <laughs> i just know this right now so this so the so the butterfree is the shadow mon that I have to capture. Which it's a butterfree, so it's not bad. He's been those leaf blade. I wonder if he loses if it still goes through. 
Oh, never mind that. You just use another brick, but it's done anyway. Shadow Rush. I'm surprised it just didn't use another brick break. But even then, now that I know it has brick break, that's pretty good. Thing. This is probably not gonna go well. Whoa. Okay. Well. Oh, it used brick break. Wow. He almost won. So the script still helped him win. Even though he almost lost, but I gotta catch a butterfree. <laughs> there we go. Unless it changes. I don't know if it changes, but I think it does, so. Either then. Wait, did it change? Oh crap. I think it still changed. Oh wait, no it didn't. Oh. Damn it, it would've been, been so perfect. Oh, I just have that hit, like... Well, this is gonna be rough. Oh boy. There it goes, there goes the Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu's not really that great of a mod at that level. But, go into Altaria. Reversal. Hmm. Well, that was super effective. It did like almost no damage, so that's good. Shutter Rush. Shutter Rush. There it is. Can't attack regardless. Damn, he does so much damage. So I'm gonna keep him in the high pitch mode because I wanna get that damage through. Reversal. Alright. Damn. Okay. Oh. Alright, now he's in that good mode. Oh wow. I didn't even do anything. Okay. Huh, I didn't know that happened. That's never happened before in any Coliseum game where they came to the senses. So the Butterfree is still the shadow. Ah, uh, okay. So I gotta catch the Butterfree. Alright. Reversal again. Oof. Alright. Uh. Hey, um, should should catch it. Shouldn't even shouldn't even be a butterfree. Shouldn't even be a problem. Honestly. Butterfree I don't think has a low catch rate. Yeah, I figured so. I mean that was just give me a soul rock. I could have had a good soul rock on my team. But yeah. This is where the rough part's gonna take in. Another reversal. Boy. <sighs> Alright, I know. I know it's gonna knock out, but. And still, I'll just go heal it later. But anyway, besides that, this battle shouldn't be that much longer least and hopefully the audio works well so that way there's not really a huge problem with the audio and there goes the silence this is what I mean this is gonna be why it's gonna be so rough uh okay go for alligator alright and the reversal is gonna kill it wow Okay. I actually do good damage. Oh, almost there. Alright. And sacrifice Altari. 
it goes. It was a slow bro. It survived by one health. Wow. Altaria put in that work. And that's when it goes away. Rip. Not very effective, but one more mod to go. With Octo coming out. This is just really like a, you know. If this was me doing a Nuzlocke, I think I would be more careful than this, honestly. But I know that I can heal them up and then use them again, you know. That that's the reason why, like I I feel like like just doing like at least one game as a randomizer, but without the Nuzlocke rule, is just really fitting with Pokemon Coliseum. I just feel that it's really fitting with this one. If this was like a normal game, yeah, then I could see why people would do a Nuzlocke of that. But for this, I feel like it's just a lot more fun to just just randomize and just play, not e not even bothering with anything else, you know. But anyway, that was really a test. I beat the beat the the grunt, whatever, and you know, it, uh, scrub, <laughs> literally. And that's literally the name of it, Scrub. But it's this is literally just a you know a way to just have fun and, and everything like that. So there he goes, you know, the usual 3D model back then. <laughs> so Pikachu is ready to actually be unlocked. So that's actually the cool thing about this. So I'm just gonna be talking and just talking and just talking and. I wonder if I could do it now, because if I can do it now, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, yes, uh, please be patient, go up, he lives near the Pokemart, okay, so now we're gonna go to the Pokemart, but actually, I really don't have to, I mean, it was just really just a test, but, Anyway, that's it. Uh, just, just to know, just to say it again, when the actual uh, playthrough starts, there's not going to be any of this rare candy stuff. There's not going to be like 99 of this and 99 of that. There's not going to be, you know, Master Balls and stuff like that, you know, and whatnot. It's going to be a literal playthrough of just me going through the normal way, meaning except it's randomized. So don't worry about that. It's not going to be me cheaping out or anything like that. This was just here to just literally just literally fuck around it's literally what it was it was just like yeah fuck it let me just get a roll and just test it out and let me get as far as i can within a day because i got this far within within i think three three hours four hours or something like that so it, w it was just a way to just really just pick it up pick up the pace and just try to get through it as fast as i can just so i could test it out for glitches or anything like that that's really what it was for it wasn't really for me to really play like like this save data is going to be deleted soon you know, it's, it's just what it is. And then after that, I'm going to re-randomize the, uh, the ISO. And then, then after that, just start playing through the real playthrough. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, and hopefully me talking is better. And hopefully this video with the audio and everything is better. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Ultraforce signing out. Bye-bye.